It's my pleasure to welcome all of you to get educated. Today in this tutorial I will explain uh, what is the eddy current loss, what is the different formulas of eddy current loss for different conditions, how to solve the numericals and at the end some numerical will be practiced. Friends, this class is very important uh, for your exam point of view. Some information may not be available to your textbooks. I am definitely sure about this point. Um, the video may be little bit lengthy. I request all of you to go through the full video and if you have any doubts, please write down the comments. Now first stand, what is eddy current? This is a transformer. Whenever I apply a AC voltage to the primary of the transformer, then a alternating flux will be produced which passes through the transformer core and link with both primary and secondary. This is the flux, the flux link with the primary winding as well as secondary winding. Also the flux passes through the transformer core. Now, According to electromagnetic inductions of Faraday's law, the winding field there is a change of flux, therefore an EMF will be induced in the primary winding E1 at the same time uh, the secondary winding uh, field there is a rate of change of flux and EMF will be induced into the secondary winding also. All of you know E proportional to d phi dt. Also, the transformer core feel there is a d phi dt, rate of change of flux, the, an EMF will be induced into the transformer core, localized induced EMF throughout the core body. This induced EMF is called eddy induced EMF, E of I. Now, depending upon the resistance of core material, a current starts circling to the transformer core that is called I of I is the AD current. This AD current does not transmit any power from primary to secondary. It is only circulate into the transformer core and there is a I square R loss in the transformer core which is called eddy current loss. Where I of I is the eddy current and RC is the core resistance. Therefore, you can write down eddy current loss W of E equal to eddy current that is square into core resistance. Now, the current eddy current is proportional to sigma where sigma equal to the conductivity of the core material and resistance is inversely proportional to sigma. Therefore, from equation number 1 I can write down eddy current loss is proportional to sigma r square by 1 by sigma. Therefore, the eddy current loss is proportional to sigma conductivity of the core material. Higher the conductivity of the core material, higher the eddy current loss. Therefore, to reduce the eddy current loss, the core resistance RC should be high. To increase the RC, the core material is laminated. That means core is not made of solid 
silicon steel it is laminated like slice of bread and all the laminations are uh, joined together with the nut and bolt so that rc becomes increase due to air gap between the laminations for a frequency of 50 hertz the thickness of lamination is maintained at 0.35 mm if we further drive the formula then we can write down the eddy current loss is equal to some constant k into b m square f square into t square where the constant k equal to the pi square by 6 into sigma this is one of the important formula related to eddy current loss always all of we should remember this formula where bm is the maximum flux density f is the supply frequency and t is the thickness of lamination generally for a frequency of 50 hertz the t is taken as 0.35 mm that means for e of e equal to constant if i want to maintain is constant then i can write down f is proportional to 1 by t the operating frequency is inversely proportional to 1 by thickness of lamination if i increase the frequency operating frequency then to maintain eddy current loss constant the thickness should be very very less that means if for a frequency of 400 hertz suppose it is a 400 hertz the thickness should be decrease therefore for high frequency transformer the thin lamination is used now from the transformer emf equation i can write down e equal to 4.44 bm a f into n is the induced emf bm is at maximum flux density a is the cross section area of the core f is the supply frequency n is the number of turns now e induced emf e is proportional to supply voltage v therefore I can write down V proportional to 4.44 Bm A F into N. Once the transformer is constructed, then A is constant and cross section area is all constant and the number of turns also fixed. It is also constant. Therefore, I can write down V by F f comes in the denominator is proportional to b of m maximum flux density is proportional to b by a one of the important formula all of we should remember consider two cases the condition number a the b by s when voltage by frequency is maintained constant just we have derived one relation that means b by f is proportional to b m if b by f is maintained constant 
then the flux density maximum flux density will also be constant now all of you know the eddy current loss formula w of e equal to k b a m square f square into t square here k is a constant term since v by f is equal to constant therefore b m also constant once the transformer is constructed the thickness of lamination is also constant this is constant this is constant and this is also constant therefore you can write down w of e is proportional to f a square this is one of the most important relation very very important relation okay whenever v by f equal to constant then eddy current loss is proportional to frequency a square means we can add down eddy current loss equal to some constant k2 into f a square to be v by f equal to variable now v by f is proportional to bm this is variable therefore bm also variable from the eddy current loss formula w of e equal to k bm square f square into t square therefore w of e equal to k in place of bm i can add on v by f that is equal to actually proportional to v by f a square this f square into t square now w of e is proportional to f square f square will be cancel out k into v square into t square here k is a constant term and t thickness of lamination once the transformer is constructed it is also constant therefore i can write down w of e proportional to v a square this is again one of the most important formula for finding out eddy current loss when v by f is variable is not constant then eddy current loss equal to the proportional to v square that means i can add down w of e eddy current loss equal to some constant k4 into v square now again for v by f equal to constant we know the hysteresis loss w of a is is proportional to f and v by f is variable the hysteresis loss w of a is is proportional to b power 1.6 f to the power minus of point Six. These two formula we have derived in hysteresis loss video. That means in video number sixteen. If you have any doubts, please go through the video. Link will be given into the description box. In this video, we are we have derived that when V by F is constant, then eddy current loss W of E is proportional to F square. and here the eddy current loss when the v by f is variable eddy current loss is proportional to v square the w of a is equal to k1 into f and w of e equal to k2 into f square here in this case w of a is equal to k3 b power 1.6 a power minus of 0.6 and eddy current loss equal to k4 into b square now the iron loss 
here iron loss is the sum of stasis loss plus eddy current loss. Therefore, total iron loss W of i equal to k 1 into f plus k 2 into f square. Now, this is one of the most important formula you have to remember this formula b by f is variable this condition iron loss w of i is the sum of hysteresis loss plus eddy current loss then w of i equal to k 3 v 1.6 power 1.6 f to the power minus of 0.6 plus k 4 into v square again you have to remember this formula in order to solve the numerical related to eddy current loss and stasis loss first we have to verify whether v by a p is constant or v by a p is variable if v by a p is constant then use these two formula w of e equal to k 2 f square w of h equal to k 1 into f if v by f is variable then use this formula. Now, for a constant v by f ratio here v is increased and f is increased. So, that v by f equal to constant is maintained. Then here f is increasing therefore hysteresis loss also increasing here f is increasing therefore eddy current loss increasing therefore iron loss also increasing that means for constant v by f if i increase frequency then hysteresis loss increases eddy current loss increases and iron loss also increases. Now, from here note 1, here V equal to rated voltage, and frequency is increased, then V by F is equal to variable. You have to use this formula, then stasis loss from there, V is constant, F increasing, if this minus sign is there, F, if F is increasing, then stasis loss will decrease. From there, if V is constant, does not depend upon frequency, whether frequency increase or decrease then eddy current loss remains constant here eddy current loss equal to constant very very important note one for one mark questions this uh, uh, comes to need exam okay here we if we increase the frequency when b is maintained rated voltage hysteresis loss decreases and eddy current loss remains constant therefore iron loss is the sum of this loss plus eddy current loss this is constant and this stasis loss decreases therefore iron loss also decreases note 2 at constant frequency f equal to rated frequency voltage is increased again v by f is equal to variable therefore here frequency is constant if voltage is increased then stasis loss also increase stasis loss increase here if the voltage is increased eddy current loss also increase eddy current loss increase therefore iron loss also increase in this condition 
when f is rated frequency v is variable then from hysteresis loss formula we can write down proportional to v power 1.6 f minus of 0.6 and ad current loss equal to k to the power 4 into v square therefore here frequency is constant this term is constant therefore hysteresis loss is proportional to v power 1.6 approximately therefore v hysteresis loss proportional to v square 1.6 is approximately equal to 2 again eddy current loss is proportional to v square here therefore iron loss w of i is sum of hysteresis loss plus eddy current loss it is also proportional to v square now iron loss which is the sum of hysteresis loss and eddy current loss iron loss is the sum of eddy current loss plus hysteresis loss both depends upon supply voltage and frequency since the voltage and frequency is remains maintained constant therefore iron loss is a constant loss now let us practice a numerical if the supply frequency is increased by two times and thickness is reduced by two times then eddy current loss will remain constant become double become four times become half okay now we know the eddy current loss formula w of e equal to some constant into bm square into f square into t square where bm is the maximum flux density f is the frequency and t is the thickness of lamination now here if the frequency is increased by two times and thickness is decreased by two times and both are a square then the eddy current loss remains constant here option a is the correct option next question for a single phase two winding transformer the supply voltage and frequency both increased by 10 percent the percentage change in the eddy current loss is increased by 10 percent decrease by 10 percent increase 21 percent decrease 21 percent here voltage is increased by 10 percent and frequency is increased by 10 percent therefore v by f equal to constant before starting the numerical you first identify whether v by f is constant or v by f is variable if v by f is constant then we have derived two formulas of hysteresis loss and eddy current loss when v by f is variable then also we have derived two formulas for hysteresis loss and eddy current loss you have to remember four formulas okay now here v by f is constant for v by f is constant the eddy current loss w of e equal to some constant k2 into f square okay <coughs> now w of e dash by w of e equal to f dash square into f square here initially let frequency equal to the 100 hertz after increasing 10 percent f dash becomes 110 hertz therefore from here we can write down w of e dash is eddy current loss after increasing the frequency and voltage 10 percent divided by w of e equal to f dash equal to 110 divided by 100 a square equal to 11 by 10 a square that becomes 121 by 
hundred. Therefore, we can write down W of E dash by W of E equal to one twenty one by hundred. W of E dash by W of E minus upon from both side we subtract of one that becomes W of E dash by W of E divided by W of E equal to twenty one by hundred that is equal to twenty one percent. Therefore, change of eddy current. Loss is equal to the twenty one percent, and plus sign is there. That means increase by twenty one percent. Option C is the correct option.